Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use Ad Creative AI. Ad Creative AI is one of the best AI tools that you can currently use to easily create incredible ads that you can use for your business or marketing agency. In this video, I will show you how you can use every element of Ad Creative AI. So all you have to do is follow along with this tutorial and you will walk away from this video knowing exactly how to use this incredible piece of software. Once you have clicked on that link, we will be taken over to this page right here where you can claim your Ad Creative AI free trial. We can click on try for free now and on this screen, we need to sign up using our information. In this section, it's then going to ask for some card details, but it specifies at the top that we will not be charged during this seven day free trial. So we can try this out. If you don't like it, then you can absolutely go ahead and cancel. And once you have entered that in, we will be taken over to this main brands section of Ad Creative AI. So before we generate any ads or access any of the other features on Ad Creative AI, the first thing that we need to do is set up our brand so that Ad Creative AI knows exactly what we are working with. We have this first option to just import from the website. So all you have to do is enter in the brand URL. You can then click on import brand and then it will auto fill these categories for you. Alternatively, you can go through and manually fill in this information, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So in brand name, I'm going to enter in the name of my brand. Then under product and service description, we can type out a description on what our brand is. Keep in mind that the longer and more in detail you make this description, the better and more accurate the ads from Ad Creative AI are going to be. However, as this is a tutorial, I'm just going to keep this nice and short and basically say that this is a digital marketing agency that focuses on paid traffic such as Facebook and Google ads to increase our customer revenue. You have up to 5,000 characters here though, so fill this out in complete. Then we can click save and continue. And in this next section, we can upload a brand logo. So I just dropped my logo in. We can then confirm this. And over on the right hand side, we can now see this is a basic ad effectively showing us how this is going to look. So we can then choose the brand colors. This absolutely matches my logo right here. So you can choose from any of these. You can change the color by dragging and dropping this around in this section, but I'm going to stick with the original colors and then click save and continue. In this advanced setup, we can click in and this is where you can choose your own font. So you can go for default, which is recommended or choose from any of these. You can also choose a secondary logo or connect up any of the ad accounts that you plan to use. Once that is all done, we can click on create brand. And just like that, we are now taken over to this main section of ad creative AI. And we are now in the AI generated asset section. So we can choose from any of these, which we will get into in a second. However, I do want to mention that if any time you want to create a new brand that you want to create ads for, for example, if I was actually using this for my clients at a marketing agency, I can create new brands for all of my different clients and create different adverts for each brand. But once again, let's go into generate right here. We can select the brand in this top left corner and now we can choose from any of these sections. We have this ad package, which is effectively going to combine all of these other options right here into one area. We can also create single ad creatives by using this section right here. We can create social creatives. So this is going to be creatives for social media, such as Instagram and Facebook. We have ad text that will automatically write your copy, batch creatives to create multiple creatives and then product photo ads. In this example, let's go ahead and start off with the ad package. And in here, we need to tell Ad Creative AI more about this project. So once again, we can enter in the landing page or website to have Ad Creative AI do this automatically, or we can enter all of this manually. So in here, we can select the ad goal, whether we want to get leads, get sales, get messages, calls, brand awareness, whatever you are looking for. So in here, I'm going to leave this nice and simple. I want more clients for my marketing agency. So I'm going to go for get leads. 
we can then enter in the product or service name. So I'm going to title this GeForce North Agency. We can then choose the project text tone. So we can choose from professional, informal, friendly. We have a lot of different options right here. So it's definitely worth going down and playing around with these. Or we can also create a custom tone. In here, I'm going to go for professional. And then we can choose an output language, which I'm going to select as English. We can then choose our target audience. So I'm going to say ecom brands struggling to increase revenue. And then we can also add a call to action. So actually, instead of going for leads here, let's change this to get calls. And then for the call to action, I will say see if we are a match. Then once again in here, we can add in a product or service description. And once that is entered, we can click on next step. In here, we can choose from what we actually want this offer to do. So we can focus this on direct conversion, a discount, a limited time offer, money back guarantee or free consultation, or we can even type out a custom strategy here. I'm going to go for direct conversion and then we can go next step and we can then choose the advertising platform. I'm going to keep this nice and simple and just go with Meta, so Facebook and Instagram. And then we can also choose the creative size between whether we want this as a post, landscape, story, portrait, or pin. And this is specifically for Pinterest. I'm going to leave this as a standard post and then go next step. And then in here, we can add a background image that we want to use. So we can either upload your own image from your computer, or you can choose from any of the default stock images that add creative AI have. So I'm just going to upload this image from my computer. Then we can go to next step. And in here, this is where we can generate the text that's going to show up on our creative. On this right hand side, this is just an example of one of the creatives we could potentially get. And over here, we can change the text on this. So by default, add creative AI is going to give us a headline, punchline and all of these down here. So we can simply go in and edit these to type this ourselves, or we can click on this brain icon to translate this to another language, just like this. Change the sentiment or how this sounds from all of these options. Suggest variation, which is going to give us a drop down to choose between any of these, or we can also shorten the text. I'm just going to leave this as this is, and then we can click on generate. And this is now going to generate all of the ad creatives for us. These creatives are now generated. And along the top, we have the creative section, the text section and audiences. To start out with creatives, we can scroll down here and see all of the creatives that we have generated. In the top left corner on each of these creatives, we are going to be given a conversion score and the higher the conversion score, the better. This is just Ad Creative AI's estimation on how well it thinks each of these creatives are going to rank and convert. We can favorite any of these creatives and they are going to show up in this favorited creative section. We can also edit any of these creatives by clicking on this edit button. And the first option is this quick input edit where we can simply go in, change the text on the creative, change the image and then change the logo, color and font. Alternatively, we can go into the even more in-depth editor. It opens up this section. And then once this loads in, we can drag things around. We can add in new images or elements using this section on the left hand side. And then if you're happy with this, we can close editor and either save changes or discard. And finally, we can download any of these creatives that you would like to use. Next, let's go up to the text section. And in here, this is going to give us all of the different copy that we can use in our apps. Once again, this is ranked by this conversion system with the highest score being the best and being the most likely to convert. We can see all of the copy that is written here. We can go in and edit this. We can also copy to clipboard or we can remove this if we don't want to use it. And then finally, in the audiences section, this is going to give us an ad creative AI suggestion on the best audiences to target. We can see the interests listed at the top, the age range and gender listed down here. And once again, these are rated by a conversion score on how likely these audiences are to convert. So in this section, we have just covered all of the creatives, the ad text, and the only thing we didn't cover is how we can create product photo ads using ad creative AI. 
So let's click into this section and we can now choose if we want to generate a product and add image or just a product image. I'm going to go with product and add and then click next step. And in here, we can now add in any pre-existing product images that we want to remove the background from. So in here, I'm going to upload this product from my computer. This is going to scan it in and we can use this tool to completely remove the background. So if we click remove background, that background is now removed. And then we can go down and tell add creative AI, first of all, what this is. And then we can tell AI a little bit more about the product. Once that is entered, we can click on next step. And then we can choose from any of these styles. So going down, these styles right here don't really fit. However, if we go up to custom styles, this one right here really does. Custom style on a vibrant green grass field with playful puppies in the background. That is awesome. This one is a modern kitchen countertop with fresh ingredients and a chef's knife nearby. Not really. This one doesn't really make sense either and neither does this one. So I'm just going to leave this style in here and then we can go down and choose from these preset styles right here. So we can scroll through and see if any of these fit the image that we want to create. None of these really fit, so I'm going to create my own. So in here, we can choose all of these different options. First of all, we can choose what this is on. So maybe we can say like kitchen counter, surrounded by, let's try dog food. If it doesn't show up, we can go to custom and type this in anyway. So I will go for dog food and add this in. And then we can choose what this is in front of and gradient background seems fine. So let's go create style and add this in. We can then go to next step. And in here, this is where we can create the different creatives. So we can click on generate texts. And once again, input what this product is and what this is about. For this, I'm going to go with more of a friendly tone. Once again, English, and then enter in a description about this. Once all of that is entered, we can go save and generate. And just like that, this is once again going to generate us some text that we can use on here. So from here, I'm just going to click generate and let add creative AI come up with all of these different ad creatives. Just like that, this is going to pop out some awesome brand images right here that once again, we can download at any time. We can also check out the ad specific creatives that this has created for us and they are going to be shown right here. So in this section, this is essentially how you can use all of the different generate features on Ad Creative AI. Next, if we go down to projects, this is going to show us all of the different projects that we have created. We can see the original marketing one is test and then the dog treats is going to show up here. Any projects that you create are going to show up in this section. We also have this inspiration gallery where you can go through, select your niche, and see a bunch of different ads that you can get inspiration from. Let's click into e-commerce and in here, we will see all of these different e-commerce ads that we can get inspiration from and incorporate into our own designs when using ad creative AI. We can also back out of here and go into any other category or we can search for the category up here. So maybe I can search for event planning and this is going to show up we can click in and see all of these different event planning ads that we can get inspiration from. So hopefully this tutorial has given you a better understanding on how you can use Ad Creative AI. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.